assembly, make sure you put it in the chat. And also make sure that when you're on screen, you are a representative of Hamtramck schools. So whatever you are doing on screen is what all the other students see and it's what our guest sees as well. So make sure that you are representing yourself really well as a Hamtramck student. So if you can do those things, give me a thumbs up. Awesome, I see a lot of thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So what I would like to do now, um, Mr. Tompkins, I am gonna make you a co-host so that you can, um, so you can control everything you need to. I'd like to introduce Mr. Ken Tompkins. Mr. Tompkins is the principal trombone player of the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. Um, he is, this is the, the, the agenda we've laid out for today. Um, he's going to um, play a little bit of music for us on the trombone, then tell us a little bit about himself. I have a whole list of questions that you guys have submitted to me and we'll be able to ask some of those questions and then we'll finish up with another selection at the end. So, Mr. Tompkins, how are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I am doing really well. I'm excited. This is kind of reminds me of like being back on stage as a musician myself. My heart's beating a little fast because I've never uh, run a, a meeting with 170 people in it before. So I'm a little nervous myself. Um, and I'm excited to hear you play. Yeah, so I'll start off by playing a spiritual called How Great Thou Art. And I'll talk a little bit about that afterwards. today um, during Black History Month. Um, so I played principal trombone in Detroit Symphony. I've been involved in music all of my life. Um, so a little bit about that selection. It was a spiritual call of how great thou art. Now, how many of you guys like to hear or sing songs? You can wave your hands or give a thumbs up. All right, a lot of you. So songs really are stories set to music. You know, they're a wonderful way to express your feelings, but they are also a way to give directions or talk about things that you do. An example of a happy song is like, you are my sunshine. And an example of a song that gives a direction or an action is row, row, row your boat. The song I just played for you is a spiritual or sacred song called How Great Thou Art. This is a song about the greatness of God. Spirituals are religious songs that have been sung by Black people in America for hundreds of years. February is Black History Month, and it's wonderful 
to think about how these songs have had an impact on life in this country. Black history is American. And we have a month dedicated to black history because the history that is generally taught in schools does not adequately recognize the contributions of black people to America. During slavery, there was a brave woman and her name was Tubman. She was brave because she risked her life to help slaves gain freedom. It is said that one of the songs that she would whistle or sing when they were escaping slaveholders was Wade in the, in the Water. Wade in the Water. She would whistle or sing the song when she wanted the slaves to walk in the water so the slaves and so the slave capture and dogs couldn't detect their scent. America is based on a set of ideas and rules that guide our society. One of the basic ideas presented by Thomas Jefferson is that all men are created equal and that everyone in America has certain rights. Since those words were written, it has been a struggle to make sure that these ideas and rules are applied fairly to everyone. I mean, everyone, regardless of your skin color, country where you were born, gender or disability, uh, disability being an example, if you can't see or you can't walk. So if you can't walk and you use a wheelchair and you go to a building and all they have are steps and you can't enter the building because there's only steps, that is not fair. So there are rules and laws that say certain buildings must have wheelchair accessibility so you can gain access to the building and whatever's offered to citizens in that building. That is why the civil rights and music, uh, the civil rights movement in the 1950s and the 60s was because black people were not gained certain civil rights that white Americans had. During the civil rights movement, the church and spiritual songs were a great source of unity and motivation for black people. I mean, these songs are so important to American society that they have influenced uh, blues, jazz, and rock in this country, which has influenced music all over the world. So do we have any questions? We have a ton of questions. And uh, so we have some questions that were overlapping. And so okay. what I'm going to do is I will um, tell you the name of all the kids that asked a certain question. And then I'm going to ask the question itself. And hopefully we can get into a little bit of a conversation here. Sure. So the first question I got, um, I got from Muhammad A. Wasim Riham Saleh. Suhan, Mehdi, and Safe, And they want to know, what inspired you to play the trombone? You know, um, I just kind of fell into playing the trombone, honestly, because I was really, uh, I've been involved in playing instruments since elementary school. Let's say third or fourth grade. Third grade, I started playing viola. And in the fourth grade where I'm from, I'm from Maryland we could play band instruments in the fourth grade. So then I started playing trumpet and then baritone horn. I went to junior high school. And at some point the band director um, asked me if I wanted to play trombone. And I said, sure. Um, and I've been playing trombone ever since. So I just kind of really fell into it and then really enjoyed it and kept on playing trombone. Cool. Our next question, Muhammad asked it again, uh, but also Samaya and Sadiqa, Ragad and Suhan. Um, you kind of addressed this a little bit, but uh, when when did when did you start playing in orchestras? You talked about playing just starting at the you know um, when you were first starting out, but when did you start playing in orchestras and specifically in the Detroit Symphony? Uh, I started playing in orchestras just in general in high school. Uh, so the training began you know, fairly early, playing in youth orchestras and orchestras in um, my high school. And 
uh, workers in the community for young people. Uh, I started playing in the Detroit Symphony in 